Hello, I'm Luchi and I'm going to show you a demonstration of the interference of different light polarizations. Here we have the Michelson interferometer. Um, we're using a green laser because it gives us a coherent light source and it is also one wavelength. So first we're going to pass the laser through a vertical polarizer. Next we're going to pass it through a convex lens to spread out the light to make it easier to see on the screen. After that, we're going to pass it through a half-silvered beam splitter. And this beam splitter is going to split the beam into two different paths. We'll call it path A and then path B. So path A first passes through the beam splitter, bounces off a mirror, and then bounces off the beam splitter again and goes to the screen. Then path B bounces off the beam splitter first uh, bounces off the mirror and then goes through the beam splitter hitting the screen. So both of the beams are going to hit the screen at the same place um, but they're going to cause interference because one of the beams is delayed because they travel different path lengths. So on the screen you can see that there is a fingerprint pattern so it's concentric circles of light and dark and then the light rings, that's when the two beams reinforce each other, and then the dark circles are where they cancel each other out. So here is the modified um, Michelson interferometer. We've added an element. This is the quarter wave plate. This is in the path of beam B, um, so it's only affecting B, it's not affecting A. So as you can see right now, the rings are still visible, so that means that the quarter wave plate isn't currently doing anything, it hasn't affected it yet, but if we turn it, um, you can observe that now the rings seem to have disappeared. Now we can use the, um, this is a circular polarizer, we can put this in front of the combined beams of A and B. So observe that now you can see the rings again. So this just shows you that the rings were there all along, um, but you can't see them. I hope you found this interesting, and I hope you learn more about it in your physics class.